Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today because we are going to have such an exciting video. This video is all about the task two essay on IELTS writing, and I'm going to show how I write the essays. You will see the essay here on the screen, and I will walk you through it step by step, break down all the grammar, all of the word choice, so that you understand why exactly I have all of that in the essay. Remember, as always, you can download the essay and the PDF transcript for free in the description box down below. There is the link for you to do it. Just pause the video, go there, get yourself the PDF. You can print it, you can highlight stuff. It will be very handy for you. Now, before we dive in, let's remember what are the requirements and general tips for the task two module. Of course, you have to write an essay in response to a question that you have in the task. You have to be analytical and present your own opinion or discuss the ideas that are given in the task. You have to write at least 250 words, although it is usually advised to write not more than 300. So between 250 and 300 is your safe harbor. Now, uh, you should also spend around 40 minutes on the task and this task is going to weigh two thirds of your overall mark for the writing module. Now, the essay is also graded based on four different things. The first one is the task achievement, and that's how full you basically answer the task that is given to you in the beginning of your essay. Then it is the coherence and cohesion. And here it's all about how easy it is to read your essay and not to get lost in your train of thought, because sometimes it's quite difficult to follow. Be sure to have a very logical progression of your ideas and Make sure that all of them correlate to each other and link together with those linked words. Next one is lexical resource. And here they look into how well you use your vocabulary, how fitted is it to the context, how wide your vocabulary is, what different words do you use, are they common, are they not, are they complex? So all of those things matter, and especially the synonyms. And the last thing that is graded is your grammar range. For the grammar range, they look at how wide your grammar range is. So how many different grammar structures you use, um, how many complex sentences or simple sentences you have, whether you have modal verbs, different tenses, whether your punctuation and your spelling are perfect. Those are all the things that examiners pay attention in your grammar range. Now, you will see the essay again here and don't mind me looking down because I have my laptop there with the essay that I wrote for you. I obviously do not remember it by heart. I will be reading the paragraphs and you're going to see them here. Okay, so the task for today is some people think that it is the responsibility of governments to take care of the environment, while others believe that this is the responsibility of people to take care of the environment. Discuss both views and give your opinion. Great. That's an opinion essay. And for the structure of that, we're going to go with the first introduction, of course, and in the introduction we will paraphrase the task that is inevitable in any of our IELTS essays and then give our opinion because it is asked for. And then we will give the outlay of what the whole essay will be about. And then we will kind of give a sneak peek to what the essay is all about. In our body paragraph one, we are going to explain the first viewpoint with the theory and practical examples. And in our body paragraph two, we're going to explain the second viewpoint, which is the opposite one. And we will conclude everything by restating our opinion and then kind of showing how the opinion correlates with all of the other viewpoints. Let me read the essay for you. Presently, there are certain people who opine that governments are responsible for dealing with the impact humans make on the environment. Others strongly believe that individuals are accountable for it. In this essay, I will debate the two viewpoints and suggest my opinion. So, how we structured that? Remember, we must paraphrase the task. So we started off with that. I use the word opine and to opine is better than believe or think because those are too generic. I also need to paraphrase the responsibility. We have that this is the responsibility of governments or responsibility of individuals in our task. And I paraphrase this by writing the governments are responsible for. 
for dealing with. To deal with is another great verb that I use here that is a phrasal verb. And then with the other sentence, when I write others strongly believe, I kind of give a little bit of depth to the word believe because I just use the modifying adjective here, strongly. Then I also paraphrase the responsibility and I use to be accountable for. The individuals are accountable for it. And of course, I paraphrase to be responsible for that we used in the last sentence and the responsibility of which was in our task. So in the last sentence of this introduction, I say that I will debate and debate is better than just to discuss. I will debate the two viewpoints. The viewpoints are opinions and I don't use the opinion to give me the space of using that in the next part of this sentence. And so I say, and then suggest my opinion. Remember here, uh, there is no need for my personal opinion because my personal opinion is a little bit of an exaggeration because my already implies that it's my and then personal also implies that it's mine. So you kind of double imply that it's yours and you're not being concise. Now, being concise is something that is quite valued in your IELTS writing. So make sure you don't exaggerate things that are already obvious from one form of a statement. Now, moving on to the body paragraph one. According to many, state governmental organs must be obligated to control and fight the consequences of human activities on Earth. Evidently, these directly affect the environment and sometimes present serious problems for whole regions or ecosystems. One of the strongest arguments that underpins the idea of governmental responsibility is that the authorities have access to abundant resources on a large scale – people, finances, infrastructure and, of course, legislative capacity. For instance, such degree of power allows Germany to make a noticeable ecological impact in any industry. Right, how do I structure this body paragraph? I start off from a linking word and remember, it's better to use linking words in the beginning of almost all of the sentences in your IELTS writing. Then I also use state governmental organs as a paraphrase of just the government. Notice there is no article before state governmental organs because we don't talk about a particular state governmental organ or many of them. We don't imply any particular ones. We just talk about them in general. So therefore, no article at all. Then I use to be obligated. Again, not responsible. I try to paraphrase responsible as much as I can. And um, control the consequences of human activities on Earth. Now, that's kind of the paraphrase of the impact from the previous passage. We had the impact, environmental impact, for example. And here we're talking about the consequences of human activities. And that's a little bit higher level and again a paraphrase. Then, evidently, again, another linking word that helps us read this paragraph more easily. We say that these, those things in the previous sentence, directly affect, and here note the difference between affect and affect which sound very similarly, but they're actually two different verbs. Now, they affect the environment and sometimes present serious problems for whole regions or ecosystems. Nothing too fancy here, but we just give a little bit more explanation, the theoretical background to the opinion or the viewpoint that we are discussing here. Then we go on with that and we present one of the strongest arguments that underpins this idea. To underpin means to support the idea. We use the word the authorities as the paraphrase for the government. Again, we don't want to use the same word many times. We also use the adjective abundant before resources to give, again, a little bit more depth here. In the collocation on a large scale, just do not forget the indefinite article, of course. And in the last sentence, we have the clear practical example of Germany, and we use the linking word for instance to introduce the example. Now, moving on to the second body paragraph, and in this one, we're going to talk about the other viewpoint. So, on the other hand, more and more people are of the opinion that we as individuals should be environmentally conscious, making sure our actions do not destroy the atmosphere around us. Indeed, this is quite a strong position, because every person is a building block of society, and the shift in personal behavior of everyone will inevitably result in substantial changes of social norms. 
One prominent example is the movement Eco Scouts that unites those who are not indifferent to the state of our planet. Hence, the members strive to follow the zero waste concept, raising awareness about recycling and eco friendly agriculture. Great! In this body paragraph, we start off from on the other hand, which is the linking words that unite this viewpoint with the previous one that we had, showing that this one is the opposite one. Now, I didn't use on the one hand in the beginning, just because I wanted to show off my vocabulary. And using on the one hand and then on the other hand is just simpler than this. Now, uh, I also use to be of the opinion. We already have to opine or to think, to believe, and here we use to be of the opinion. Then I also use the atmosphere, which is another synonym of the environment. I start the next sentence from indeed, which is a linking word, and again I use the strong position to give a little bit more depth to the noun position. I also like the metaphor of people being building blocks of society. Metaphors are something that bring your essay to the next level. If you have the time to think about a metaphor when you're sitting in the exam venue, that's pretty cool. So try to do it and practice doing it maybe. That's a good point for your lexical resource. And notice, I didn't have any article before society, and that's because I'm not talking about any particular society. I just talk about that in general. Now, in the next sentence, we also introduce an example, and we use one prominent example for the introduction. I'm talking about the movement Eco Scouts. That movement is completely made up, guys. I'm not sure if that exists or not, probably not. I just made it up for the sake of this essay, and do it. If you don't have any particular example from your real life, if or if that just doesn't pop up in your head too quickly, just make it up. No one cares where you cut your example from. What they really care is how well your English is and how nicely you communicate your ideas in English on paper. Great, I also use the zero waste concept, which gives me more points for my lexical resource. And lastly, we are moving on to conclusion. In conclusion, one can argue that the most obvious decision would be to transfer the environmental responsibility to governments, given their access to resources. Nevertheless, I firmly believe that any valid change starts from individual awareness and action. Therefore, I consciously try to decrease my ecological footprint and invite my friends to follow suit. That's how I structured my conclusion. And in the conclusion, I have three sentences. In the first sentence, I introduce the point that I do not support, but it may be supported by the majority of people, so I address it as well. In the next one, I state my own opinion and I explain why exactly I do not support the first one. And lastly, I straighten my position and show how exactly I do it in my own life, how I deploy that concept and why exactly I follow it. So I try to make it as restating my viewpoint and explaining why exactly I have it, how it's different from the opposite opinion. I also use the linking words, obviously, that are in the beginning of each of the sentences in this particular conclusion, and then try to use a little bit higher level words, such as consciously or ecological footprint or a very beautiful collocation to follow suit. So that's it guys, I really hope this was useful for you and you could derive some tips and strategies for your own essays for the task 2 on IELTS. Please do not forget to check other videos where I explain how I write the task 1 essays both for general and academic modules on my channel and remember to download the theory PDF for free from the description box below. Thank you so much for being here with me today, I will be very happy if you decide to leave a like for me or even subscribe. And as always, I will be delighted to see you again here. Ciao!